All right, everybody, welcome back to Nier. Uh, this time we are on our way to the Airy. Uh, doing things in a little bit of a different order this time. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to go down. I kind of have an idea of how the uh, of how the uh, story works over at Facade, like how that unfolds. But um, I'm not 100% certain that I've ever that I ever got to the area on my other playthrough. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Oh, man. We do not desire. We do not desire needless conflict. If we can continue to live with humans, then we can continue to live peacefully. But that man will come. Yes, that man will come. He will kill us all. He will kill our women and children. What should we do? What can we do? So if you guys haven't picked up on it yet, um, the inhabitants of the Airy, the reason we never see them is because they're shades. They're sentient, you know, more or less together shades. Um, some of them even have their own replicant bodies, I think. That's how that works. Like the, the few people in the uh, place that look, you know, like that, they have they have their replicant bodies so uh yeah that's that's a thing um all right here we go do, 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 do. feels like not long ago we were here on the uh the original playthrough but you know uh, let's see, we're gonna go up and across, yes. And these people, everyone in the village is just terrified of Broman Dude, because Broman Dude is just like a fucking. He's like a fucking T1000. He just comes through here and just kills everybody in his way. He's just a complete asshole. I'm scared. I don't. I'm scared. And it's just. It's horrible. We are terrible people. Oh, God, I still haven't quite digested that last episode. It was terrible. Like, you know, this is all like rushing back to me, and I'm like, oh man. Now I remember why I didn't quite finish. I think this is probably why I didn't finish the rest of the uh, previous game. Previous playthrough, I mean. Days are numbered of villages doomed. Cheerful as ever. You know you wrote the letter. God damn it. Mm-hmm. Someone must know something. I wonder if if like I, I always I did kinda wonder, like, why don't they just tell him that they're shades from inside the safety of their homes that we clearly cannot break into? Like, no matter how many times I hack and slash at the doors, they don't open, so... Surely they must be sufficient protection against <laughs> raving lunatics like uh, Broman Dude here. You know. I miss Faith. I don't like the way the sword looks. Bugs me. Does anyone ever, uh, like, equip or use, like, inefficient items just because they look cool? <laughs> like, in single-player games, you know? I don't know. Hey. I'll bet you do. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shop everywhere, because this is the last time you get to shop hey. here. 
after this, it's like they're all just, they're all dead. Dead people. Yo! Um. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, thanks for nothing. Um. Hmm. Sweater? Oh, a letter. No, sorry, I don't know about that. Huh? Letter, sorry, no. Huh? Oh, they're all saying the same shit. Okay, I guess we just have to talk to this guy. Hmm. You know about the letter? Maybe I don't, I'm not sure. Which is it? Are you friends of Kaine? You could say that. Ah, I've heard the rumors. Here to hunt shades, are you? Aims to defeat every last one. Every last one? Everyone? 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 Oh, goodness. Alright. Dark Lance back up. Oh, and I should... I'm gonna use Dark Gluttony this time because it would have really helped me against all the bullet hell in the last one. Yeah. Keep your guard up. Others are surely lurking nearby. I'm gonna try not to kill that dude. What? I got bored. Thousand apologies. You were distracted by the local welcoming party. Mind if I join you? A carnival of murder? I love it. <laughs> Kaine, the villagers are possessed. But not all of them. Some are still human, so be careful. That was a waste. Alright, maybe I should keep Dark Hand for a while, because I thought that the big onion thing was coming, but I guess not. Come on, buddy. Get wrecked. We're here to kill your sister. We're here to kill you all. Just senseless slaughter. Just murderous rampage. But you, who, uh, yeah, I still have no idea who these people are fucking talking to. Sorry to burst your bubble there, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your husband is a shade, okay? That doesn't bode well for your husband, then. Getting that now. Your sister is one of them now. I don't care. She's my sister, and I love her. Peace. Stop it! 
We are the villains, dude. I can't carry any more health salves, clearly. Come on, buddy. God, there's a shit ton of them. Definitely the true monsters. <laughs> We're just slaughtering an entire village, I swear to God. We're like the British invading Scotland in the 13th century. We're just like. Are, are any of these guys getting married? Maybe I should just go ahead and take the virginity of their wives while I'm at it. Well, just, you know, while I'm here. If I'm gonna be an evil prick, I might as well just take it to the next level. Uh, the sound's fucking up again, and I am sorry about that. Get there. I want more words. Why are you none? Of, why are none of you fuckers dropping words for me? I want words. Technical guides. I wonder what those do. I'm sure they're crafting materials of some kind, but. God, there's more? Shit. Oh, they're down there. Ouch. Soldiers under attack over there. Yeah, so am I. Health cell, get another one. Alright, I think that's it. I think that's everybody. Does anyone. You know what this kind of makes me think of? Like, does anyone ever have. Um, not. Fantasy is definitely the wrong word, but does anyone ever just, like, contemplate. Uh, like doing horrible things that you would never do, like ever. I'm sure everyone does. I, I know just from like, ouch. Oh, god damn. Um, oh, whoa, good dude, what the fuck? Fuck you, guy. As well, physical strength. But I, um, I wonder how many people out there ever do or ever have never uh, you know, uh, contemplated or had a dream or a nightmare about doing something that they would never do, like something crazy out of character, like, I don't know, committing some horrible crime or whatever, or murder or whatever like that, and then, like, I don't know. I had a nightmare recently that I was, like, I ha I've been having this occurring nightmare recently that I've been, like, guilty of some sort of, like, crazy, like, serial killer string of murders or whatever. It was crazy. It's not from this game, I promise you, <laughs> but uh, it's definitely like, 
it's one of those weird things where you have like these crazy fever dreams and you don't know how to deal with the consequences of what's gonna happen in the dream and you wake up and you're just like, oh, thank God, my life is not ruined. Damn it. Ouch. I don't know how I dodged that, holy shit. I've had some like really crazy fever dreams before. Like, I remember one that I used to have a whole lot when I was little and to a limited extent. Um, uh, even, you know, recently is one where like, oh, I'll, I'll shut up for the cutscene. village, our world, where am I, who am I? So this beast is basically like the collective sorrow and suffering of like all the people in the village that we fucking killed so far. It's terrible. Um, anyway. Uh, I would have this recurring fever dream where like, I'm in my house, like the house that I grew up in, but there's like multiple floors of the house like they're all the same but they're like it's all the same layout um of the house like same upstairs downstairs you know whatever same basement um but as i go up in the floors like they're slightly different and like they'll be tinted with like different light and like things will be different and uh it'll just be it'll just be nuts Oh god. Alright. Is this the true power of the shades? It will take more than a barrage of magic to stop us. The first to waver is the first to die. I sense magic coming from the middle of that eye. Come on. There we go. This is going to take a while. <laughs> Wait, stop! I think those are people! Hold nothing back! There's a shade! The surrounding tentacles appeared. Oh, shit! I didn't realize how much damage I'd taken there. Oh, dude, come on. Fuck me. I was trying to see if I could absorb the darker ones with dark gluttony, but apparently I couldn't. Uh, I fuck. Something from within the boat. If you listen closely, you can hear the shade kind of like screaming and stuff. It's really honestly kind of terrifying the power of the it will take more than a barrage of magic to stop us the ah shit the is the first to die i sense magic coming from the middle of that eye eh. Oh, 
nothing back. There's a shame. The surrounding tentacles appear to reflect magic. Agility! Ah, God. Come on, fuck you, fuck you. Oh, jeez. I don't think I'm doing this right at all. I could be doing this much more intelligently, but... I'm frankly not quite sure how. Come on, open up. Move your little... move your little... onion skin things. It doesn't really matter, I've only got one. Did that do anything? I couldn't tell if I actually absorbed any of that and fired it back. I don't think I've ever actually hit anything with the absorbed energy from Dark Gluttony before. Uh, let me try a strength capsule here real quick. Oh god, those are those fucking things again, oh my god. Ah, you shitheads. You shitty, innocent people that did nothing to me at all and are completely fighting in self-defense, but I'm gonna kill you anyway. Oh man, this is terrible. This is terrible. Come on. Give me a clean shot. Give me a clean shot, you fucking asshole. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Defeating the smaller enemies has no effect on the leader. Whoa. Um, yeah, anyway, back to that fever dream story. Like, I would keep going up and down through different levels of my house, and they would all be tinted differently, and everything would just look so weird, and it was like I was in someone else's house, but not. And then I would go up into my attic, and then my attic would have, like, expanded into this world or whatever. And I don't know what I found terrifying about it. But, uh, okay. Clearly, I just need to ignore all this shit. Yeah, come on. I don't know what I found so ter found so terrifying about it, but I always felt like there was this presence hunting me through my house, and I would have to go into like other levels and dimensions of my house to escape it. I don't know what was so terrifying about it. It was just the mood of it all. The atmosphere, I guess. I don't know. Defeating the smaller enemies has no effect on the leader. It was just really crazy surreal. Ah, whoa. I get that it has no effect on the leader. I get it. I get it. But he won't stop 
Am I at least getting experience from this shit? God damn. Come on. I, I get it, Vice. Shut the fuck up, you stupid fucking book. Maybe if I just leave that guy alone for long enough and just... Let me just get back some of my magic here real quick. Defeating the smaller enemies has no effect on the leader. Yeah, there we go. God damn it. Go away! Go away, my god. There's too many of you. Now, focus your magic on the beast center. I'm trying. Damn it. God, do I have to do all that shit again? I may have to cut some of this out. This is taking way too long. God, the sound is fucking up again whenever I use Dark Blast. I don't know why. Alright. Let me just keep that one guy alive and then maybe he won't respawn all the millions of other ones? Oh, uh, okay. Nope. Not gonna work like that. Let me just run around until my magic refills. <laughs> La da 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 da. Let's go jogging, refill our magic. Alright. Go away. Go away. Leave me alone. I know if it refills past a certain point, I it, it only uses like a fraction of my magic power to use Dark Lance. But uh ouch, god damn it. You guys fucking suck, you know that? You guys suck. God, this is crazy annoying and time consuming. I did not miss this about hard mode. Uh, incredibly sorry that it is taking this long.
only my magic would refill faster. I've got like the fastest magic refill word I can equip. Damn it! Fuck! Alright, well next time it'll be the end. I get it, I get it, I get it, Vice. Shut the fuck up. Makes me feel better. I'm done running around. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Move your crazy little fractally appendages things. Beating the smaller enemies has no effect on the leader. Maybe it'll probably refill some of my magic pretty nicely, so maybe I should just go ahead and kill some of these guys. Move, move, come on. Come on, move, move, please. Fuck, for the love of God, move, move. Ah, oh, he's trolling me now. There we go, yeah, open up for Papa. Yeah. Defeating the smaller enemies has no effect on the leader. It doesn't have any effect, but it fucking refills my magic. Probably get some words too, maybe if I'm lucky. And I think do I get do I get experience for this one? Six eight three three nine experience. Let me see if I have more after I kill this guy. No, I don't. Defeating the smaller enemies has no effect on the leader. All right, God, I wish I had another magic capsule. I should have saved it. Come on, come on, come on, move! Get out of the way! Oh, come on, move your shit! Move your fucking shit, dude. Look at the animation of this, isn't it cool? Just all the words floating around. Alright, come on. Alright, ready, aim, fire! Has no effect on the yeah, I'm getting that. Also, clearly has no effect on my experience bar. Jesus Christ. Alright. What was another the other crazy fever dream I always have is that I'm always that I am down in the basement of some office building and like there's all these fluorescent lights that are on like really bright um, but only in my immediate vicinity and if I go beyond my immediate vicinity it's just it's darkness alright yes I will do that
Fuck you, guy. So that shade is pretty much just an amalgamation of all the people that were killing all of their souls. If you listen closely, you can hear them like screaming in the background sometimes. It's pretty, pretty awful. Look out! Something's coming! Yeah, I'm, I'm looking out. I'm getting the fuck out of here. You're on your own with that. Anyway, so I'm in the basement of this office building. And, uh... There's like, there's a Open fucking thing. And, uh. Like, there's. Like, creatures that are like people. Its weak point is located around the back. Attack it from above. But, uh, they Emil. aren't. Emil! I'll. I'll keep it busy! You should be able to attack from behind! Go around! Get it! Please! Hurry! The lad can take care of himself. We must circle to the creature's rear. Ow! Whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Damn it. Yeah, it always involves me running through this office thing, trying to get away from whatever these creatures are. And, uh, I don't know, it's really weird. I should really probably try and absorb some of those and see if I can fire them back in a way that is conducive to killing this thing. What? That's where it went? That's stupid. Come on. How did it not hit it? What the fuck? Why is it going in that direction? I want to try and... I can't... I can't do this for much longer. I know you can, Emil. I know you can't. Did that? I didn't even see how much damage that did. Whatever. Anyway, I'm just like in the bottom basement of this office, like, trying to escape from these weird creatures that are like deformed humans or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what... You ever have those nightmares that are just terrifying for a reason that you can't really explain to another person? It's like one of those you'd had to have been there nightmares? I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's what fever dreams are, because they're just ridiculously scary for a reason that doesn't make any sense to anyone but ourselves, I guess. Why does it keep going, like, off to the left? I don't understand. You gotta hurry. I don't think that's doing much damage. Move. Yeah. Ouch. All right. Let's get a big hit in. Hurry! 
Emil is about to falter. Am I gonna like die or something? Is Emil gonna die if I don't? Did we get it? It is escaping to the inner level. Oh, okay. I'm coming. Gotta catch my breath. Careful, Emil. It won't help anyone if we lose you here. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. God damn it! We beat the hell out of that thing. How can it still move? Its combined powers are beyond even my greatest suspicion. Well, it is hard mode. Unless we slay the core, all hope is lost. God, not more of these stupid things. If I could just get up close to it, I could hit it with, like, close enough to hit it with my sword, I could pop a strength capsule and, like, just absolutely wreck it, but I can only use magic, and I don't have any fucking magic capsules. Holy shit, that's scary. Fuck you guys, fuck you guys, fuck you guys. Oh, come on. Open up, fucker. Oh, are you coming in? Oh, dude, fuck yeah. Yeah, come here. Come here, buddy. Got something for you. Unless we slay the core, all hope is lost. I'm working on it. Unless we slay the core, all hope is lost. Damn it. Oh, that was pointless. Unless we slay the core, all hope is lost. Damn it, it's moving away. Fuck. No, oh, no, not this again. How is it not burning through the wood platform? That's what I want to know. Alright, come here. Come here, asshole. I know that's what you really want to do. Yeah, come here. And here's the horrible part where we impale the souls of like thousands of people with a giant magic spear. Now we know why Emil felt so bad.
It's people bleeding, not just monsters. His instincts have taken hold. The ultimate weapon is being deployed. This ain't good, Sunshine. saved our lives. Didn't you? If it wasn't for you, we'd all be dead. We owe you. It's all right. Uh, we best be off. Don't look back. Don't feel regret for all the people we just slaughtered and the village we destroyed. Yep. No remorse at all. Just keep on doing it. Alright guys, so um... In the next episode, we'll be going to Facade, I believe. And uh, that shit's going to be even worse, because I do remember Facade, and... I don't know. That's probably what made me quit playing the game the first time around. I was just like, I can't handle this. I'm pretty sure the first time I played through this game, um, I was working at like a collection agency, because I was just, I needed money, and I didn't wasn't qualified for anything else at the time. It was before I got into IT. And... Um, I was just like, work sucked, and then I came home and I played this game, and I just felt miserable. <laughs> the game just made me miserable. Like, right now, life's a little, life's a, you know, a good bit better. So, you know, can't really complain too loudly about it. Um, anyway, this is where I'm going to cut the episode, pretty much. So, um, god damn. Yeah, I'm probably going to give the PS3 a break, too. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, so take care, hope you're enjoying it. If you find this to be uh, titillating and emotionally evocative and bringing a tear to your eyes, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe. It'll help me out. It'll cheer me up. God knows I need it after this depressing fucking game, my god. Anyway, later everybody. <laughs>